Okay, sports fans. Sports! Here we are on day 10, the last day of the consciousness baseline setting control period before entering into the ayahuasca testing phase. Um, a lot of things have shifted actually in my consciousness and physiology as well. Um, so first of all, I just finished Wim Hof. It, it smacked. It hit like a truck today. It, it was crazy. But this is actually just the culmination of a series of crazy shits that have happened in the past days. I even had to write it down because um, one tends to forget these things once they become normal and incorporated, right? So uh, my Wim Hof retention time jumped from 2.5 minutes on average to around four and a half minutes, very suddenly, almost overnight, and it stayed at that level. Um, furthermore, I can see that my the PSD of my gamma waves that my brain are producing have doubled, sometimes even tripled from day one. Now, when I collect the data, I'm not processing that data, I'm not analyzing the data, I'm waiting to do that until the end. And the reason is, as I've said before, the brain is the only organ that studies itself. So I don't even want to influence the results by knowing the results. So I'm, I'm just collecting the raw data, saving all that analysis for after the experiment to keep it as fair as possible. However, just when I put on the headset and I look down on the software, um, I can see that the, the PSD is double and sometimes triple what it was on day one. Um, of course, this will warrant further analysis um, after the experiment. But just from what I see, it's already increased. Um, there are some physiological, physical things that are a bit strange that have changed. Uh, for example, this muscle, this particular interior muscle, right on the left side of my heart chakra vibrates. It just vibrates. Sometimes for some minutes, sometimes for hours. One time it started in the evening and it just kept going till the morning. It happened so much, I even caught it on tape. So that's weird. Um, those are things I can prove. Those are things I can measure. On a subjective basis, I am experiencing some forms of dissociation. Uh, for example, with sound. Uh, there's a fan, and it goes like this. And on day one, I perceived it as a fan, the sound of a fan. Now, I perceive the fan, and pretty much all sound, as vibration in my cranium, which is technically what sound is. It's just that usually we don't abstract perception to such a low level. Usually we have a higher abstraction, like, oh, that's a bird, oh, that's a fan. Me, it's just a vibration, and then I need to consciously place an association with that vibration. So this is some form of dissociation. Another form of dissociation is uh, with my own body. So I was washing my hands, and as I grabbed my left hand, it didn't feel like it was my hand. And similar to with the sound, I had to, there was a moment I had to pause, and I was like, oh no, it, this is my hand. It feels like a foreign hand, but this is mine. It was odd. And final form of dissociation is just seeing my reflection. John claude Van Damme, I'm fine! I look at my reflection sometimes, and again, it takes me a moment to realize that this is me, because it doesn't seem like it's me. Um, outside of that, my dreams have become extremely vivid, and furthermore, the difference between dream reality and reality reality, it's a little bit intertwined. You know, like we're doing a bit of a menage a trois, me, dreams, and this reality. It's kind of flow. And finally, my energy levels have massively increased. Uh, I'm usually running on four or five hours of sleep with no problem. 
so much energy to pour into my work, my companies, my life purpose. Meditation is like, meditation is like sex. And um, I think it's a great way to wrap up the control period. It's exciting because when I began this experiment, I wasn't even sure if the PSD of the gamma waves could increase. Now I see they obviously can. So on one hand, it's quite exciting to see these early results, both quantitative and qualitative. However, on the other side, it's also a bit confusing because keep in mind, I have not done ayahuasca yet. This first 10 days, which we've come to the end of now, is the control period. This is setting the baseline. But in this baseline setting period, some crazy shit has already started to happen. And you can see it in the numbers and you can see it in my subjective description of what's happening. So I don't have a good explanation for that. There is one very non-scientific explanation, and that is that some people believe that ayahuasca calls you and it begins to work on you even before you take it. It begins to do its work the moment you set the intention to take it. A lot of people believe in this. Of course, I can't scientifically prove it, but I don't have another explanation right now that I can offer. And as much as I love science, I fucking love science. And if you ever say anything about science, I'm gonna- I'm the food. There are some things that science can't explain. <laughs>